In this video tutorial, we are going to let you know about the one server where you can perform the Autodoc Wiener Docky automatically. You just need to upload your ligand and the 3D structure of your protein and the rest of the things will be done automatically for you. And the name of that server is a Swiss dog. A one very interesting fact is that the Swiss dog is not going to take a too much amount of the time. Your docking will be done automatically within a very short period of the time. To access the Swiss talk, you just need to write down on the Google Swiss talk and the first website will appear in front of you. To access the Swiss talk, just click on this link. When you will click on this link, then this interface will appear in front of you. On this interface, you are going to find out the two different options. The first option is docking with the attracting cavities, while the second option is docking with the Autodoc Vena. Right now, we are interested in docking with Autodoc Vena. So that's why we are going to select this option. When you will click on this option, then after a few moments, the interface will be changed. And as you can see it here, that the docking with Autodoc Vena is now highlighted with a red color. Once the interface is changed, then please scroll down. And when you will scroll down, then you are going to have a two options. The first option is to submit a ligand and the second option is to submit a target protein structure. To submit the ligand, you have a three different options. Either you can submit the smileys or you can upload the mol2 file or you can upload the pdbqt file which we have prepared using the MGL tools. Here, we will recommend it to you that, that you should go with the smileys. Now question comes here that what are the smileys? The smileys are basically a way to write down the ligand structure. And you can get the smileys very easily from a pubchem, chamber or the zinc database. These are the databases where the chemical structures are stored. Now let's assume for a moment that we have searched a one chemical on a pubchem database. Now when you will scroll down on this page, then you will find out a one option of the canonical smileys. You just need to copy these canonical smileys and paste in a Swiss talk. Now another very important question that should pop up in your mind that why we are recommending these smileys? Why we are not recommending you to upload the PDBQT file or the mol 2 file? Now please let us answer this question. Sometime if you are going to build the 3D structure of your ligand by yourself, then you can make the mistakes in the ligand topology. Therefore, this will be advisable to let the Swiss talk to build the 3D structure of your ligand by itself. We hope so that the standard procedures of the Swiss doc will not make any mistake. So let's copy these smileys from here and let's paste them into a Swiss doc smileys option. Once you will do that, then look at it here. The prepare ligand option is now highlighted. Please click on this one. When you will click on this one, then this may take some time. And when your 3D structure of the ligand is prepared, then you will observe the green tick sign there as you can see it here. After uploading your ligand, now this is time to upload the 3D structure of the protein. To upload the 3D structure of the protein, you have a three options here. The first is that provide the PDB ID of your protein. But we will not recommend this option to you because sometimes we need to make a changes in the PDB structure of the protein that is downloaded from the protein data bank. Maybe there will be the missing residues or something else. So therefore, it is not advisable to provide the PDB ID here. The second option is that upload the PDB file. Well, the third option is to upload the PDB QT file. We will recommend it to you that, that you should go with the PDB file. To upload the PDB file, please click here on the choose file. When you will do that, then this window will pop up in front of you. In this window, please select the folder where the PDB file is located. So currently our PDB file is located in a docking folder. And this PDB file name is 1GFW. Let's click on this one. And you will click on this one, then look at it here that the prepare target button is highlighted. Now please click on this one. When you will click on this one, so once again, this may take some time. And once your protein structure is prepared, then you will observe the green tick sign. Now after completing these two steps, now let's scroll down. 
When you will scroll down, then you are going to have a, this option to select the search box. This option is quite similar like setting a grid box in an Autodoc Vina. You can see here the grid box with a purple color. So you have to adjust the grid box in such a way that your active site will be covered in that grid box. If you are interested to perform the blind docking, then your whole protein should be covered with the grid box. Let's go for the blind docking in this case. To go for the blind docking, we will change the values in the grid box. So let's first change the values of the search box center and let's bring this box into the center of the protein. After this, now let's change the values of the search box size so that this search box will cover the whole protein as we are going to do the blind docking. So we are going to increase the size of the grid box in such a way that the whole protein is covered in the box. Now look at it here. Our whole protein is almost covered in the box except the few loops. And we are expecting it that with these loops our ligand will not bind. Great. Now after setting the search box or the grid box, let's scroll down. When you will scroll down, then you have a fourth option of select parameters. In the fourth option of the select parameter, you have to select the exhaustive level. By default, this exhaustive level is 4. You can change that value. But please keep it into mind that if you are going to increase the exhaustive level, then the docking procedure may take some time. Now, if you are comfortable with the 4, then please click on a check parameter button. When you will click on the check parameter button, so then this may take some time to prepare all of the parameters that you have just set. As you can see it here that we are going to find out a green tick along with the check parameter button. It means that our all parameters are checked and now we are ready for the docking. After this, in step 5, you can provide your email ID or you can also set the name of your docking study. If you will provide the email ID, then the link of this docking study will send to you. But this is optional. You can leave it. Once all of these things are done, then please click here on Start Docking. When you will click on the Start Docking, then the interface will change and you will have this window in front of you. Here on this window, you can see the progress of your docking procedure. Within a few seconds, your docking will be completed as you can see it here. Now once the docking is completed on a Swiss Dock Autodock Vina, then you will have this page in front of you. This is your result page. Now let's inspect this one. In this result page, on the top left side, you are going to have your query. In the query, you can see your ligand smileys, you can see the name of your uploaded target protein, you can see the method that is adopted and the date and the parameters. Furthermore, you can see the references of the studies. In these studies, this Swiss Doc Autodoc version is published. On the right hand side, along with the query, you can see your ligand structure. And when you will scroll down, then you are going to have the further results. Here you can see the 3D structure of your protein that is uploaded. Now if you will move down, then you are going to have the affinity scores. The Swiss talk has generated the 20 different poses of the ligand and calculated their affinities with the receptor protein. As you know that we have explained it to you earlier that smaller the value of the calculated affinity, the better the pose binding will be. So our first pose is going to have the strongest binding with our receptor. Now you may ask a question that how you can download the results. To download the results, you will scroll up and then you will click here on this zip. When you will click on the zip, then this window will appear in front of you and your results will be saved in a zip format in your desired location. As you can see it here that our results in a zip formats are downloaded at our desired location. Now let's move to the folder and let's extract the content of our zip folder. So currently in our docking folder and in our docking folder you can see the result.zip folder. Let's extract it. 
To extract the content of this result folder, let's right click on this one and then there will be a drop down menu. In this drop down menu, please click here on extract here. Once you will do that, then the contents of the result zip folder will be extracted. Now here you can see the multiple different files are extracted. Now let's open our PDB file in a PyMol. Now this is our three dimensional structure of the protein that we have uploaded in a PyMol. Now let's click on the S and let's change its shape to the cartoon. Now where are the ligands? To see the ligands that are attached with your protein, let's click on the file, let's click open and then let's click on the vena underscore doc file that is extracted from our zip folder. Once you will do that, then all of the 20 ligands will be loaded in your PyMol window. Look at here at your right hand side bottom. You can see that there are the 20 different states of the ligands are uploaded here. And currently you are looking at the first pose. If you will click on the forward button here, then you will see the second pose, the third pose, the fourth pose, the fifth pose, and so on and so forth. Let's assume for a moment that you are interested to save your ligand with the first pose. So how you will do that? Let's come back to our first pose. As you can see that right now we are with our first pose. Now to save the protein along with the first pose, just make sure that currently the first pose is loaded in your PyMol window. Then move to the file and then save molecule with the protein structure and vena underscore doc. Click OK. When you will click OK, then another window will pop up in front of you. Here, let's save it with a different name as a complex. Now let's hit on the save button and when you will click on the save button then in your folder the complex file will be created. Let's open this complex file. When you will open this complex file in the PyMol then you will see your ligand along with the protein. But where it is? Let's click on this S button that is present on your bottom right hand side of the PyMol window. Once you will do that, then the sequence of the PDB structure will appear in front of you. Scroll it to the forward direction. Once you will do that, then you can find out that link. Now this link is basically your ligand post that was saved. Now let's visualize it. To visualize it, let's click on this S and let's change the shape of the protein to the cartoon. After this, click on this link. When you will click on this leg, then you can see some pink dots appear in the PyMol window. Now, right click on the leg, then there will be a drop down menu. In this drop down menu, go to the show and show it as the sticks. Now, once you will do that, then look at it here in your PyMol window. The ligand appeared as a stick. Now, the color of the ligand and the protein file is green. So let's change the color of the ligand to something different. To change the color of ligand, once again select the ligand, right click on it and then now this time move to the color. And let's color it as blue. Once you will do that, now look at it here. Now your ligand is in blue color while your protein is in green color. We hope so that you will find it very easy to perform the Autodoc Vena automatically on a Swix talk server. Please do let us know if you guys have any query. We are going to bring a more interesting stuff for you in upcoming video tutorials. Please stay with us.